Hi, my name is Shristi and welcome to day 14 of the 30 day mean stack Honolulu challenge. Um, today we're going to take a slightly different tact as I show you a couple of my favorite tools to use when working with Angular and um, the mean stack and something I'm going to refer back to over the, um, the next week or so. So the two tools are um, firstly the Mongo Explorer um, and secondly uh, a tool called Batarang that's actually from the Angular team. I think they've actually made it themselves. So it's a pretty handy little tool to work with. Um, the first thing I'm going to go through is the Mongo Explorer. So if, you, um, if you're using WebStorm, um, there's a little explorer bar that's um, that's added over here on my um, my WebStorm window, um, and to get one of these, you you go over to File Settings, um, down to Plugins, and um, in Plugins, just find search for a plugin called the Mongo plugin. That's really quite straightforward, nice and easy. Um, and when you add this or install this particular plugin, what it does is it gives you um, this this area called uh, Mongo service. So it's a, it's a new addition to your um, to your project settings. Um, and the cool thing about this is you can then add um, a URL to your Mongo DB. So I'm just going to cancel this really quick and just compare this to the config environment development, which is what we set up when we first set up um, our environments. And if we just go back to Settings, go to Mongo service, make that smaller. And um, I'm, I've already added it before. If you, you hadn't added it, just click on the plus. Otherwise, you can click on edit and have a quick look at it. So we've got a label, which is what we're seeing over here. Uh, we've got our server URL, which is the bit um, from the at symbol to the, um, to the port. Um, we've got the name of the database, which is on the end there. We've got the username, which is the first part um, of the string. And we've got the password, which is the second part of the string before the at sign. Um, once you put that in, you can just test your connection. Uh, and what this is doing is actually connecting to your database. And you can then hit OK just to close that or cancel if you don't want to change anything. Um, and once you've got that, you can just OK or cancel out. The cool thing is what that does is it gives you this little explorer bar on the side. And you can open that up. Oops. When you open that up, you can um, just go right click and just refresh your server. Um, and it comes back with all the collections that are currently living in your database. So it's a really cool tool to um, have a look at what's going on in your database if you're not that comfortable with the command line. So if I look at customers now, for example, um, and it's just sort of opening up for me over here. So it's doing a query and coming back with the list of customers um, that are in my database and that's really cool. So it's showed me that I've got one customer and um, you know, these are the details that we used um, in our uh, in the video yesterday when we went through and, and created our customer record. So that's a little bit of Mongo Explorer and you know, it's a really powerful little tool just to give you that quick insight to see if your records were created the way you thought they were, um, to see what what's, um, what kind of data is actually going on. Um, really, really useful for a development um, environment. All right, so now I'm going to move on to my next favorite tool, and that's Batarang. So yesterday, where we left off, we actually left off with a page that looks something like this. Um, and on this page, what, what we had was, um, well, not, not a whole lot of information because we hadn't mapped any of our fields from our model um, into this particular view. So remember, this is the view for this individual customer. Now, without having mapped any of the data to this page, what if I told you there was a really nice and easy way for you to see any Angular models or any Angular data that was behind the scenes and available on this page? Well, if you want to do that, the tool that you need to find is a tool called Batarang. So um, to get it, uh, if you're using Chrome, you just go along to the Chrome web store and just do a search for Batarang or AngularJS Batarang. It's free, um, just a, t a developer tool. And you can then um, have a look at some of the details around that, but you can then add that um, to Chrome. And it's a really, really useful tool. So I'll, so I'll show you how it kind of works. So if you just sort of right click on your page once you've installed Batarang, you can go to Inspect Element 
And what that does is sort of you know, find the elements on your page and inspects that for you. But what Batarang gives you is this kind of um, new menu option for AngularJS. And as soon as you enable that, you can start to see the scopes and the models that are actually um, available on the view that you're currently looking at. So I'll just make this a bit bigger so you can have a look. So we'll have things like, I mean, some of these, some of these scopes don't have any models, or so there's one. So um, this is the current authenticated user. So it's giving me all the details of the user that are available behind this view. So you can see there's menu details here as well. Um, there's quite a lot of information here. So this is also a really good way for you to check the security of your app to determine if you're okay um, with all the information that's kind of flying around behind the scenes. Um, but what I wanted to look at was this scope down the bottom here, um, which if I scroll down, shows me the details that we created yesterday. So you can see we've got the first name of Ali, surname of Connor, the suburb of Melbourne, so on and so forth. So these were the details that we um, that we put in when we created our customer. And um, funnily enough, they align directly with the details that are sing sitting in our um, Mongo database um, when we had a look at that using um, Mongo Explorer. So um, that's kind of the the two of my favorite tools. Um, I'd love to hear about your favorite tools and what you use with Angular. So let me know um, in the comments below or, um, or or let me know on the Bossable page. Um, that's where I'm going to leave it here for today. I really um, you know, strongly implore you to go and um, play with these tools and, and get familiar with how they work and how powerful they are and um, all the fun things you can do with them. So. Um, that's it for today. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, go and have a look at bossable.com for more details and I'll see you tomorrow.